Uh, my name is Tony Madlin. I'm a salesman for AMT. And I wanted to show you some of the new products we've been working on and show you some of the uh, easy installation methods and uh, maybe help you with some questions that you might have. First of all, we're going to start, start with the AMT 5,000 pound uh, wind lift winch. And these are going to be methods showing you uh, alternatives to using cable. The first thing I want to show you is to use the uh, strap kit onto the AMT winch. The holes are already drilled for this, and so basically you take the uh, strap kit out of the package. It has a hole here for the bolt to go through, and of course a D-ring on the other side. I'm going to show you how this is doing. It comes with a bolt, and uh, take the uh, strap, it's got a hole in it, and line the end of the strap up with the hole and put your bolt through. Of course, there's two straps. So we've got the strap aligned and we just we find the hole tighten the bolt up. It's already pre-tapped. Uh, Once we get it snug, then we just take an Allen wrench and uh, snug it up. So now we have the uh, winch attached and then you see how it, it winds up just like uh, cable would normally. Uh, this rating on this strap is 5,000 pounds and, got a, and also the D-ring is rated for the same uh, amount of weight. So now we've got our straps attached. I want to show you another part of this, which is using uh, a 3 carbon rod. The rating on this rod is 62 to 6300 pounds. The rating on 3 sixteenths cable is 3700 pounds, and we have been using this as the main line to lift a feeder, or even uh, a nest. So I'm going to show you the procedure, how to do that. First of all, we're using a, a product that uh, we haven't had very long, but had good success and gives professional application. And that is called a suspension uh, dead end. Notice it's got a copper sleeve, which we're going to crimp later on. And then it's got a uh, clevis pin. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the carter pin. Then take the uh, Clevis pin out. This gives us a chance to uh, take the carbon rod, end of the carbon rod, slide it up into the copper sleeve, and we want to slide it up and get enough room where we can bend this. Now this rod is hard to bend, so we're going to have an, plenty of length to make it easy for the installers to bend the rod. Now I'm going to use just a simple half inch piece of conduit and we're going to put the rod into the conduit, about a foot. Make sure that it, uh, if you're safe with this, because when you bend this rod, you don't want it to come out and uh, do any hurt anyone. So we're going to bend this rod, and I want to bend it a little bit over 90 degrees. Uh, that looks good. See here we've got, now we got a long tail here, and what we're going to do, because we don't want that much tail on it, we're going to lop it off about an inch to inch and a half. Then we'll just throw this away. Then we're going to uh, slide this up in here to where it's, uh, it's good and tight. And then the process that we're going to use is uh, we're going to crimp uh, this copper sleeve, and we're going to start right here, and we're going to crimp this nine different times. Very important, and we're going to use a one-eighth crimp. Now we have, there's two styles of crimpers on the market, and I'm going to refer to them as a red handle. Red handle has five uh, sleeves openings. We're going to use the middle one, which is stated on here the one eight. When we start, we want to make sure 
that you start next to the clevis end and then we're going to work our way down and we're going to crimp it nine times. We crimp, move down, crimp, move down until we get nine times. Now in case you're using another crimper, we refer to this as an orange handle, it's a nitro press tool, and this has three slots. The one we're going to use is the very end slot. The label on it is BM, and that will be the 1-8. So when you're using this tool, go to the very end, crimp it next to the clevis end, first crimp, move down, crimp, move down, crimp, and continue that process until you get uh, nine different crimps. When you finish, this is what it's going to look like. It's bent, you got a good, with probably a 70 degree angle, and you're going to start here and continue crimp. This is going to give you good holding capacity, and uh, we've tested this over 4,000 pounds and uh, no sleep. So now we've, uh, we've got the rod installed, uh, we've got it crimped. What we're going to do now, we're going to take the end of the strap which, with the D-ring, we're going to slide it in the uh, clevis, we're going to take our pin, push it through, put a carter pin in there so it doesn't come out, and now we have the winch attached all the way to the rod, straight, neat, and very professional. Now some of you have asked about how to attach the cord to the rod. And I'm going to show you our preferred way of doing it. First of all, we're going to take a cable clamp. I'm just going to slide it on for uh, viewing purposes. I'm sure you have to take the clamp apart. We just snug it up. We're going to take our ratchet and uh, tighten the clamp. We're going to take the AMT 3 16 cord we call it no stretch cord. And instead of putting the cord under the clamp where there's compression on the, on the cord, I want to encourage you to do this. Take the cord, go around the rod, and we're going to tie a simple knot called a slip knot. Go around the cord, come back around, and put the end of the cord through the loop that's going to give us a knot that we call just simply a slip knot and uh, the tighter you pull on this cord then the tighter the knot gets and it will not come out. And of course then we're going to take and go through our pulley come back down and then we're going to install the 19300 AMT cord adjuster and we're going to start with the first hole which is uh, the furthest away from the end of the adjuster. We're going to put our cord through there, go around the feeder tube or around the hanger. We're going to come on the back side of the adjuster and then back through the center. Allow a little tail on the end and we just tie a uh, very simple knot in the end so it doesn't come out. Slide it back through. And of course this is going up to your pulley and then around your rod. And so now that's how it should look with your feeder. This is a, a 90 degree angles so it will not slip. And then, of course, to get your feeder level, you can make necessary adjustments with one hand. So that's how you have it. We got our winch. We attached our straps. We bent our rod. Uh, we've uh, crimped our rod. Attached the cable clamp. Attached our cord with a slip knot. And then the final touches, the cord adjuster. So there you have it. If you have other questions, call AMT. I'm Tony Medlin. Thank you very much.